cab seems to be in really nice shape. No rips or tears in the seat. The floor looks really nice. It's not all ripped up. Dash isn't ripped up. It is missing two auxiliary switches right there that uh, you could replace. Try the radio really quick. Guess that's the base. Again, don't know how to work the radio. Right now I'm, I'm, I'm resetting the clock. That's that's great. There we go. For dedicated and knowledgeable so radio works. Stop by ANC Milling on Highway 491 at 12185. Does have Bluetooth? You can link to. Do have radio controls again? Steering wheel, and then you have it in the sleeper also. Tracks control, sleeper, suspension dump, fifth wheel slide, inner axle, PTO. There is no PTO on this truck. They, uh, there was a PTO, they took it off. So they, they did buy a couple brand new Kenworth trucks that they, uh, they put the PTOs on those trucks. So no PTO on this truck. Getting 10-speed transmission. The seats are nice. Manuals come with it. Back here. Carpet looks great on the floor. Controls in the back. You do have a side window. Hard cabinets there. That is a spot for the fridge. You want to put a fridge in. Hard cabinets. Closet. Window on this side. Do have a TV mount put on, like the radio's on back here, and then just extra storage places. Guess you could put another TV or something up here. So overall, truck looks to be in great shape. Nothing I can see out of the ordinary. If you can see on the windshield, it does have a crack down below. It's not your, your field of vision. But uh, like I said, overall, truck looks to be a nice truck. Should have, should have lots of life in it. You know, just from what I'm seeing and, and uh, looking at, did have a power inverter. Those are unhooked. So you you have the wires there to hook a power inverter up if you want. Any questions? Feel free to call me.